Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Tanisha aka Sparkly Natural and today I bring to you a hair video. So I got my hair straightened probably about three or four weeks ago and as you can see the back is reverting back to its natural curls and so it's time to go ahead and get this washed and go back to my curly hair. So tonight I'm going to be using the Curls Cashmere and Caviar Collection. It looks like this. So this is their like more luxurious line. I'm super excited to try all of the pieces I've tried. The hair jelly and I've tried the hair serum before. So I've tried these two and I really like them. So the hair jelly I feel like really helps to put some shine in your hair. It also helps to add some slip if you're doing like a twist out or something like that. And it also helps to slick down my hair, slick down my edges when I'm doing like a pineapple or something like that. I really like it. So we're gonna try out this hair bath, which is basically their shampoo. It says that it is a luxurious hair bath, gently cleanses with active charcoal as it naturally conditions with cashmere and caviar aspect. It leaves hair looking and feeling silky smooth, cashmere soft. So I'm looking forward to that. And then I'm also gonna try out the hair mask. And this says that luxury hair mask infused with cashmere and caviar extract, antioxidants and vitamins to strengthen and smooth your hair. It also helps repair any scalp damage and promotes faster hair growth and of course a healthier scalp. So these sound amazing. There's also the hair silk and then the hair serum like I talked about earlier. So I'm gonna use that for styling my hair. We're gonna see how it comes out. I'm gonna do my twist out and hope that everything goes well. So I'm gonna go and wash my hair using that hair bath, put the mask on, let you guys uh, see how that looks and then come back as I do all my styling. So thank you so much for watching and I'll be right back. All right, so hair is already washed. Now I'm just sitting with the conditioner or the mask on my hair. I'm gonna put a bonnet over, a little heated bonnet that's gonna help to warm up my hair. Gonna do that for 20 minutes as per the instructions and we're gonna see how that comes out. All right, so this is what the heated bonnet looks like. It connects to my blow dryer. About to do that for 20 minutes. All right, so this is my hair after it's all washed. See some of the curls are popping. <laughs> all right, so what I'm gonna do is split this into four sections, and then I'm gonna work on my twist out from there. So just gonna take some clips. first section, the first quarter. So I'm gonna go in with the leave-in conditioner, which is the hair silk. I'm just gonna rake that throughout the section. It so good, it's like a fruit something, like a fruit salad. <laughs> smells so good. So after you've raked that through your hair, then I'm going to split this section again. Clip up this top part. Okay, so now I'm going to split this section into two. Flip up this part. I'm gonna take some more of that leave-in conditioner, the hair silk, put a little bit on there to make it a little bit easier to detangle. Then I'm just gonna finger detangle before I go in with the comb. Starting at the bottom, gently rake that through. If there's like a big section that I feel like I'm not in, then I'll just go and use my finger instead of trying to 
pull it through with the comb. So then I'm going to go in with the hair serum. Let's get that oil in there. I'm looking all shiny. And then finally the hair gel. hair silk to get it loosened up, help it easy, help it to be easier to detangle. Got a finger to tangle first. To start on the next section, I'm gonna do the same thing and just split this up into two parts. Mm -mm. So we'll do the bottom half and then the top half. Put that away. And then I'm probably going to split this section into three parts. So pull out a piece to work on. Put this one to the side. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the rest of my head and then come back. Alright, so I am all done. Here are my twists. They look all juicy. So we're going to let these dry overnight and then I'll take them down in the morning and we'll see what our twist out looks like. Bye. Alright, so it is morning time 
and my hair is mostly dry. I have an event I need to go to, so I'm just gonna have to take it down and hope that it doesn't look crazy. So I'm just gonna pin it up on this side while I'm taking down the other side. And I'm gonna use this Obia Naturals Argon Rose Hair Oil because it smells really good and it's not super heavy on your hair. So just gonna leave some pieces out. I'm gonna put this up with a clip too. I don't like too much hair out when I'm doing this. All right, so just take a little bit of oil in my hands, rub it in, and then I just find somewhere in between the twist to pull apart. And then I just unravel gently. There we go. And take the next piece, trying to get the oil on there too. Now that I have all those pieces down, I'm just going to go through and start to break these into smaller pieces. Put a little bit more oil on my hands and just gently kind of break these apart. It's not too poofy. And that is my hair. So I'm gonna go and style this, do something to these edges, and then I'll come back and give you my thoughts on the cashmere and caviar curls collection. Be right back. All right, so just flick my edges down, <laughs> pooped it up a little bit. So let me tell you my thoughts on this collection. So I did the hair bath I started out with that and this is the shampoo so I really like the slip that it gave it didn't lather a lot but I feel like it made my hair feel so silky and also made it feel hydrated so I really did like the hair bath I used a lot of it so it's not gonna last me that long but so then after I used the hair bath I used the hair mask and it made my hair feel soft, it made it feel hydrated. I thought it was gonna make my hair feel silky because of the way that the shampoo did, but it really didn't. But my hair still feel, felt hydrated, and to me, that's the point, so I was happy with it. So then for styling, I started off with the hair silk, and so this helped, I feel, to detangle my hair. It didn't make my hair feel as silky as I thought it was gonna make it feel, but I feel like it still made my hair feel soft and manageable, and it made it easier to detangle, so. I was happy with it. So then I put on the hair serum, which is like an oil. Um, I feel like it really helped my curls to be defined and to pop. And so I really like that. And then I sealed it off with the hair jelly, which looks like that. And I feel like the hair jelly, that is my favorite. I bought like multiple of these because it smells so amazing. And I feel like it helps to add slip to my hair and also helps to add a softness to it. I usually, when I'm doing my twist outs at night, ever since I bought this, I've been using this for my twist out, which is the hair jelly, because it smells so good and I feel like it makes your hair soft. It doesn't have a super, super hard hold, but I feel like it still does what it needs to, to help your hair twist and stay braided in place so overnight so 
whatever I like it overall I'm a fan of the collection the hair jelly I feel like it's gonna be a new staple for me like I have to have it I think that and the hair silk I kept saying the hair serum is what I had before but it was the hair silk that I had before and I really like the combination of those two so I'll definitely be sticking with those enjoying those for some time to come um I think I might try these again and see how I feel about them the hair bath and like the hair mask definitely gonna use the rest of it but <laughs> as far as what I would purchase again definitely the hair jelly because I have and then the hair silk so thank you so much for watching please stay tuned there's gonna be more videos more reviews more hair more makeup all of that more beauty um coming soon so stay posted um and have a great day I'll see you guys in the next video Mwah. bye